an oppressed world later on. Roughly 700 years later, the earth is overrun with trash and absent any trace of plant and creature life, the outcome of long periods of ecological debasement and negligent industrialism. The enduring people are living on the spaceship aphorism in the wake of emptying earth hundreds of years sooner. Maxim is worked by a huge partnership considered purchase and enormous, whose BNL logo shows up even on the counterfeit sun noticeable from the boat's fundamental concourse. The first arrangement was for people to live in space for a very long time while cleaning robots, walls imagined by teacher Simon, arranged earth for recolonization. Be that as it may, following 700 years, just a single Wally, voice, Ben Burt, remains. Wally goes through his days compacting garbage into strong blocks and building structures with them. He likewise gathers a portion of the additional fascinating relics and keeps them with regards to the carport he imparts to a cockroach, his main companion. Around evening time he watches high cart on VHS and fantasies about having a hand to hold. A large portion of his finds are extra parts and hardware yet one day he finds a forlorn plant. Not certain what it is, but rather perceiving that it needs soil and care, he gets it and places it in a soil-filled old shoe. The following day, a gigantic spaceship grounds and stores another robot, Eve, extraterrestrial vegetation evaluator, voice, Elissa Knight. Wally is promptly stricken and desires to hold her hand, yet Eve rushes to utilize her plasma gun, which can shoot an opening through anything. Eve zoom around Earth searching for vegetation yet becomes troubled upon not seeing as any. Wally is at last ready to move toward her and returns her to his carport where he shows her his assortment of human curios. She actually opposes holding his hand, notwithstanding, so he shows her the plant he found. This enacts her excellent mandate, she brings the plant into an extraordinary regulation container inside her body, conveys a message to the mother transport, and goes into hibernation mode. Confounded, Wally attempts to make her protected and agreeable. He protects her from rainstorms and takes her to a recreation area where he can watch the nightfall close to her. A few days after the fact, the mother transport returns and gathers Eve. Wally hitches a ride on the boat, which gets back to the saying a few light years from Earth. Eve and Wally are analyzed in the arrival cove. Eve, still in hibernation mode, is removed to the boat's authority. Wally seeks after her, trailed by M.O., voice, Ben Burt, a cleaning robot who is determined to scouring the foul Wally to eliminate unfamiliar foreign substances, for example soil or earth. On the way, Wally sees people interestingly. Stout and to a great extent unfit to continue all alone, they are trucked around the saying in drift seats with video screens that permit them to speak with each other and see different commercials for drinkable food items. At the point when Wally coincidentally thumps one of the people, John, voice, John Ratzenberger, off his float seat, Wally helps the man once again into the seat and presents himself. Confounded yet appreciative, John presents himself consequently. Wally tracks Eve to the offices of Skipper McCree, voice, Jeff Garland, who is similarly as idle and taken special care of as different people. McCree is befuddled yet amped up for activity recolonize, which is set off by Eve's find. Yet, when McCree reactivates Eve and orders her to create the plant, it is absent. McCree orders Eve and Wally to be taken for fixes be that as it may, after they've left, chooses to instruct himself about Earth. In the maintenance narrows, Wally erroneously thinks Eve is being hurt by the maintenance team and uses her plasma cannon to save her, accidentally delivering different robots who had been taken in for administration. During the breakout, security robots take photographs of them, the boat's PC reports to people that Eve and Wally are rebel robots. Irate, Eve takes Wally to a getaway unit to send him back to Earth. Before she can place him in the unit, they see Gopher placing the plant in the getaway case. After Gopher leaves, Wally goes to save the plant yet is impacted into space. Before the unit falls to pieces, Wally utilizes the crisis getaway from Hatch and a fire quencher to leave the case with the plant. An upbeat Eve plays in space with Wally and even gives him a grateful electric kiss. Utilizing the trash chute, Eve and Wally slip into McCree's lodge to give him the plant. Be that as it may, auto, voice, machine talk, the boat's autopilot framework, uncovers it was the person who took the plant before. It in no way wants to permit a revisitation of Earth due to a centuries-old order that was given when the Earth was accepted to be forever dreadful. Auto impacts Wally, Eve and the plant down the trash chute and limits McCree to his lodge. Wally and Eve scarcely avoid being shot into space with the remainder of the Denai however Wally is severely harmed. In the interim, 
McCree has sorted out some way to hack into the boat's correspondence framework and advises Eve and Wally to make a beeline for the boat's focal deck, where a unique machine will return the boat to Earth when the plant is put inside it. With the assistance of the robots they freed before, Wally and Eve come to the focal deck where the unique machine has ascended from a stage. Otto attempts to drive the machine once again into the stage yet is forestalled by Wally. McCree figures out how to stand up all alone and turns down Otto. Eve places the plant in the extraordinary machine and the adage is raced back to Earth. Wally was horrifyingly squashed in holding Otto back from imploding the stage. When they arrive at Earth, Eve surges Wally back to his carport and fixes him. Wally doesn't perceive her and starts to reduce trash. Troubled, Eve holds Wally's hand and gives him an electric kiss once more. This appropriately reboots Wally. McCree shows different people how to support the plant and mend the planet. It will be a lot simpler than they naturally suspect in light of the fact that right external the city, plants have proactively started to prosper.